Hey, Karen Ray here. Uh, it's, it's Saturday and I work from home, so if you hear a lot of noise in the background, it might be the grandchildren, <laughs> um, dogs, cats, the phone. But anyway, I work from home, which is awesome. But today I want to talk to you about um, some mindset training that uh, was some lessons that I learned from Ho'oponopono. Now, if you like me, when I first heard that word, I, I couldn't remember it because it was just so foreign to me. But I want to, to share with you some lessons from that. And um, um, hold on, okay. Um, Ho'oponopono. Now, you will find, if you do a search on this, and I'm going to also give you some links in the blog post. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, there's there's a link to the blog. But Ho'oponopono, um, Ho'oponopono actually comes um, from a, let me go here, essentially what Ho'oponopono means, it means to, to make it right um, and the intention, it just, it literally means to make things right. But the, the, um, the concept or, or the um, environment that it, where that word originated from was from Hawaii. And they were to make things right um, in their history with their relatives and relationships. And they actually, there was actually a... Um, they would once a week get together and if any of the family members you know had um, outs with each other or if anybody was mad at each other they would go through this process of um, telling each other that they loved each other uh, they, that they um, you know they would go through a forgiveness and um, so this concept now is being brought into uh, different mindset trainings and when you first hear about it no when I first heard about it it made such an impact on me it's all I could talk about for weeks and um, I came across a training that Joe Vitale has and he um, he talks about Ho'oponopono in a product that he has called Zero Limits and what does Zero Limits mean? Zero limits with the Ho'oponopono concept just means that we are removing from ourselves the, um, all the, the monkey chatter, all of these um, thoughts and concepts that maybe were um, handed over to us, you know, from generation to generation. And I, I also talk about this in another video, and I'll give a link to that also. But what it means is we are removing all of these memories, these false memories that, you know, that we have taken in from um, just maybe from uh, false ideas and concepts that we formed as children, um, that, were, that we observed from parents and grandparents and teachers, all of these that we have formed in our mind just becomes, you know, monkey chatter. Um, just just becomes a lot of noise. So getting to to zero just means removing all of those false memories and beliefs, and just getting a better concept who we really are. Now this is really life transforming when you first hear it. Now, um, I want to go and show you, um, when you first hear it, okay, um, there is, on some of this, you, if you go to some of these links, you maybe even see it as a prayer. And, and the prayer is, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And I have to tell you, when you first hear this, <laughs> like I did, it's like trying to wrap your mind around it. You're either going to sort of glaze over or just be totally transformed. So like when you, I love you, when we think of I love you, we think of, 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 of a particular person or a relationship. And when we think of I'm sorry, we typically think about an act that we are personally responsible for like you know backing into somebody oh I'm sorry I did that and please forgive me is is another concept but I I want to share with you that if you can grasp the Ho'oponopono concept 
that um, I'm going to share with you with some of these links um, that Dr. Joe Vitale and Dr. And, and the Hawaiian doctor, right? What he is teaching us and what, what they are showing us, <laughs> it's my little dog <laughs> making clicky noises on the floor, what they are trying to show us is, is how to let who we truly are, you know, the real us, who we are without all of the added nonsense that we have added to our lives and that others in our culture has added to us that has nothing to do with who and what we really are. And who and what we really are is, you know, we are, we, we are here to have an abundant life and to be blessed. And, and when that doesn't happen, it, that just means we have a lot of false beliefs. We have a lot of uh, limiting beliefs that are not serving us um, that I have mentioned in my other uh, videos and other blog posts that you can go back and, and look at. But it, it means that there's some interference going on and we have to find a way to get rid of that. But I'm gonna give you some links um, that really helped me and um, and if some of if this really is totally foreign to you and you're just going on tilt and glazing over if it doesn't make sense at all go ahead and get on my list um, I'm going to also offer a link here mindset marketing link um, so it's in the in the blog post go ahead and, and get on my list and I have a lot of resources that will help you because in order for us to have the success in our businesses, success in our relationship, and to feel peace, joy, and happiness, we really, really need this concept of Ho'oponopono. So yes, it's Ho'oponopono. <laughs> like I said, I could never remember it. I just had to say, you know, the Hawaiian doctor's method. But I want to uh, share this with you and um, hope that you can apply this concept into your life and begin living with zero limits. Zero limits meaning the sky is the limit and that you can start transforming your life and becoming who you really are. Karen Ray, have a blessed day. Click the links, get on my list, and let's start doing Ho'oponopono. Bye.